While King Horus got used to his new dragon, there was unrest in the Westerlands and Dorne. Lady Janae Lannister was the daughter of Lancel Lannister, former Lord of Riverrun before it was returned to the Tullys by King Robert II. She had tried to retake her family's ancestral castle of Casterly Rock, but had been imprisoned and banished to Essos. However, while there, she had taken inspiration from Daenerys and Aegon Targaryen, and had gathered a significant force of sellswords and exiled Lannister loyalists along the shores of the River Rhoyne. Her protracted invasion started in 341 AC, though it would take years before any Lannister soldiers had foot in Lannisport. In Dorne, the powerful house Ironwood revolted against Prince Angron, ostensibly to place the prince's younger sister, the Sella Martell, on the throne in Sunspear. The Ironwood Revolt, as it came to be called, pitted half of Prince Angram's vessels against the other half. It took nearly five years of pointless bloodshed before the status quo ante was restored. While war raged in the periphery, King Horus participated in a Crownlander tourney. He impressed with his skill and bravery, even managing to hold his own against legendary tourney knight Sir Raymond for two tilts before losing. It was at this journey that King Oris took on a young peasant boy by the name of Glendon, who would go on to become the king's squire and ward. The crown's financial situation was improving as well, and Oris finally felt that the time was right for a grand coronation ceremony, which happened in 343 AC, five years after King Robert's death. Shortly after his coronation, Oris decided to put his newly acquired dragon to good use. Pirates from the Stepstones, had been harassing merchants for years, but their ships had always been too fast and their hideouts too well hidden for the Royal Navy to catch them. But no ship can outsail a dragon, and even secluded bays are still visible from the sky. Some burnt flagships and intimidating dragon visits later, the pity pirate kings surrendered without a fight. As reward, the strongest among them was made Lord Paramount of the Stepstones, and tasked with protecting trade though the Royal Navy needed to stick around to escort the pirate ships for many years before the Pirate King could be trusted alone with his task. Beyond the wall, a new king had arisen. King Gerd Pikehead, son of the others, had united the tribes once more, and Oris accompanied a small force to the far north to help the Night's Watch protect the realms of men. The wildlings had laid siege to Castle Black itself, and would have taken it if not for the timely intervention of King Horus. Dragon fought giant and mammoth, and the wildlings were soon driven back, though they would almost certainly return. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to JJO Gaming, and welcome back to your boy, King Horus the Lusty, who is married now to a wife who has gotten a bit fat, <laughs> but that's no problem. Uh, yes, we are Dragon Rider. We are we have a burnt face. Last episode, not that much happened. Uh, we had a big revolt in Dorm. We had a big revolt in the Westerlands, which is still ongoing. Uh, I think probably... Yeah, I think I noticed that uh, there's a big army here. Yeah, I think this is her army. Uh, the army of uh, Janae Lannister, who was trying to capture uh, the Westerlands back from uh, our buddy. Our, well, our father's buddy, really. Reynold of, uh, of the Wester uh, Westerlands. Reynold Westerling. All right, um, let me think what we're going to do. I think we should repay that loan first. Yeah, we're almost there, right? And after that, we're going to go to war again. We're going to use our foothold on Essos, on these islands here, to uh, to continue expanding. I'll give you some coin. This guy wants to press his claim against what? Emperor Timonax. What the hell is that? Kingdom of New Geese, really? No, I will not act against him. Emperor of Kath. Empire of Kath. All right. So the Carthines have uh, carved out a nice empire for themselves. Uh, this is the big purple one. It's a very nice imperial color. Very Byzantine. Good going, guys. Is it the, the, the Jura thing? It is. Okay. I, uh, I don't know about that in, in lore, to be honest. I know about Giscar, the Giscari Empire. But I didn't know about the Kath Empire. I don't know if that's a thing. But uh, good going. Good going, uh, Carthines. Are you still a republic? Can we see that somewhere? Probably, right? No, I, 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 I cannot see it here. Oh, we can see it here, right? Warlocks. Legends claim they have many strange powers. Feudal. Oh, it is feudal. Okay. You notice Princess Sylvina is being very stubborn when she plays with other children. This will probably help her in life. I will try to explain to her that uh, being stubborn is wrong. I'm stubborn myself, right? Oh, no, I'm not. 
my uh, my father was. Okay, I will uh, I will try to explain why it's wrong. Ah, I'm uh, I'm friends with my uh, my daughter. Very good. Glendon, here he is. Uh, you should train, my man. Forced to train. Okay, one marshal. You should train though. <laughs> Race to nobility. Oh no, he he, he did he did uh, he did improve. I think. Race to nobility. I think we should do that once he uh, once he grows up. He's my uh, my uh, uh, my uh, my squire. We should maybe make him our marshal if he turns out well. Can replace uh, Lord Paramount Giles. That uh, should be fine, I think. Although I would like to have him on the council as well. He's a Risley. He's uh, an old, uh, old family dynasty uh, which we like. Okay. Um, maybe we should also find somebody to marry uh, Sylvana to. Um, who do we not have a non-aggression pact with? Let, let, let's have a look at our factions. I accept them. We have uh, Paramount Edric, my brother. Oh, he's a crown loyalist. Okay, fine. Uh, then we will have a look in the Pacts window. Okay, so we have a non-aggression pact with the Westerlands, the Norse, the Vale, Dor Dorne, and that's it. Okay, so not with the Riverlands. Uh, and not with... Uh, what am I missing? Oh, Stormlands, that I, own, I own that myself. Okay, so it's only the Riverlands, really. So we should try to marry into the family of uh, Lord Paramount Lyman. So we can maybe marry uh, his son. Oh no, I remember now. We, we wanted to marry this this girl off uh, matrilineally, right? So let's uh, let's 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 let's, uh, let's see if we can find somebody who wants to marry her matrilineally. Let's see. Um, Ellery Tully, my cousin is sixteen. Do you want to join me, my man? No. Okay. Too bad. I was gonna say, otherwise we would have invited you, and then we can once he is at my court, we can marry him off matrilineally. I guess uh, we cannot do that. We have Roderick Pike, who is a bastard of the Ironborn. Of my aunt and some random ironborn woman. Okay, good going, Liana. <laughs> you can get some action on the side. That's fine. Oh, the Iron Islands, we also don't have a non-aggression pact with, I think. We, we we threatened Theon with our dragon last episode. But uh, maybe we should secure that a little bit. You have a young boy. You want to... Uh, who, who might want to join us? Mm. Can we marry this kid off? He's, he's got gonorrhea at age one. Ah, poor kid. <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, grandson of Theon, Arston Baratheon. Oh, is a Baratheon? Ah, okay, right, 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 right. Yeah, because he doesn't have. Uh, it's it's not uh, it's not uh, regular primogeniture. It's like elective. Hmm. Maybe we should just marry her off uh, for the genes, right? Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, let's let's have a look at that. We have this guy, Anish Florent. He's pretty good. He's about uh, the age of my daughter. He is uh, from House Florent, so that's a pretty noble house even though he's a uh, quite distantly related uh, branch he's not really in line to inherit anything it seems uh, who else do we have aaron flint Let's see if we can find somebody here who uh, is from a from a family we know the pipers raymond piper they uh, the pipers were one of the first houses who this is a long time ago but during the war of the five kings they were one of the first houses that was loyal to us so that that might be a good choice actually yeah, let's see if he wants to get married uh, metalinearly to my uh, my sister, my uh, my daughter. Yeah, he does want. Okay, great, nice. We have a genius uh, Piper kid in the family. Where are the Pipers? Edmund Piper, great enough all time. Let's have a look. This guy, Aikens Rich, eighty-three eleven. No, it's an earlier one. Eh? I think the uh, Clement Piper. Yeah, what was he killed by? Um, he yeah, was killed in personal combat by somebody during a trial by combat, I think. But he is, uh, he's the Pipers are family friends, so uh, I think this is a good choice, and they will get a lot of prestige this way. But I'm fine with that. They are, they are a house we like. Ideally, I would like to have a son, but uh, it can still happen, right? Oh, oh dear. All it took was a single spark. The wildfire stockpile in the Red Keep has been ignited, and now fire rages beyond all human control throughout the province. Somebody do something! Ouch. Okay, we're gonna get a year, year's worth of uh, just complete wildfire. And luckily, my uh, my ancestors were smart enough to reduce the wildfire stockpile a bit, so it's only a medium one. If the, if, if 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 you don't do that, if you don't uh, reduce this wildfire stockpile at all, and this event happens, the King's Landing just becomes a wasteland, like this one. It becomes just uh, just a waste. You cannot uh, build there, build anything there anymore. So luckily that didn't happen. So all, all that's happened is uh, is a huge fire, which is also still pretty terrible. But 
at least it should be uh, gone in a year or so. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> Big disaster. Maybe my dragon, uh, <laughs> my dragon ignited something. That would be terrible. Uh, news from King's Running, Your Grace. A new dragon has entered the world. Ah, great. Princess Sylvana, Sylva Sylvana Bretian has, has apparently successfully hatched one and named her dragon, named the He Dragon Orion. A good name. Good name. Good going, uh, Sylvana. You uh, you hatched the dragon. Oh, that's that's a nice narrative, right? Because this dragon was born during the big wildfire of 8346. So maybe uh, the heat hatched her egg, right? Same as uh, as for Daenerys. But this is wildfire, so it's even hotter than the pile pyre that uh, Daenerys was lying on. So maybe that's why Orion was uh, was uh, was born. Nimble, great. Is my dragon also locked in the dragon pit? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we still kind of want to get get Dragonstone, right? Can we already revoke this title from you? Can we imprison you? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, here, here she comes. Okay. Richmond army. Did did she did the 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 the, the, the Lannister woman finally arrive in, uh, in 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 the Westlands? No. She's she's on Dragonstone somewhere. Yeah. Her army is still just hanging around here. I think something is going wrong with the AI. Oh well. <laughs> Where's this, sir? Richmond army. Army of Lady Janae. That should be it, right? So I think it's now marching. Yeah, it, it, I think it's marching in, into the fleet. So hopefully the army will arrive in the Westerland soon. But I think um, Lord Reynald has got it. He should be able to handle it. All right. So Sylvina Baratheon is a dragon, right? Let's see if we can, f we, if we, if we can hatch another dragon egg and give it to, uh, to our son if we get one. My wife Janela is pregnant. Speaking of, uh, speaking of which, that's another. Uh, so this is uh, whoever this kid is going to be is going to be like fireborn, right? So like Daenerys is Daenerys stormborn, but this this kid is going to be born, uh, or at least conceived during during the wildfire uh, of uh, of three forty six. So that, that's that's a good good narrative as well. I like that. News of Stone Age from Trial by Combat. Lord Paramount Vance here. Lyman Tully. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. Okay, we have enough money now to repay the loan. So let's do that. And then we're going to make some more money and then we're going to go back to war. Despite his best efforts to escape, your Kingsguard Sir Raymond has been caught in the fires ravaging King's Landing. Be did he die? Or is he just burned? Or severely injured? And my maester died, died as well. Took me a new maester, guys. Here he is. Simon. He's terrible. <laughs> um, break up with... Alin or break up with Jelena? Let's let's break up with uh, maybe with my lover, right? We've grown to love our wife, so uh, and, and we're, she's a, she's a, the mother of two uh, many of our children. So that makes sense, I think. Uh, Lord Paramount Giles will be fine for Scrum. I had to promise him I would look at it. His daughter had supposedly been raped by my brother-in-law Giles Risley. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Should we imprison Giles? I mean, I think that that is fair, even though he's my brother-in-law. But if he tried to rape somebody, th th would I do that? I'm not like deceitful, right? Charitable, brave. I'm brave enough to to risk it. And I'm charitable and gregarious. So I'm, I'm kind of like kind of a likable guy. But I think, yeah, I think we're gonna imprison him. Let's uh, let's call him for trial. Yeah, you have, I can be merciful, though. We can uh, put you under house arrest, uh, Lord Giles. That's fine. Call him for trial. And let's uh, find a new master at arms. Lord John is still in revolt, eh? Lord, uh, Lord Permanthion? Yeah, that's fine. Trial of, the s of seven. Ooh, okay. Okay. Wow. The trial of seven is a form of trial of by combat linked to the fate of the seven and Andal tradition. The Andals believed that if seven champions fought on each side, the gods thus honored, th thus honored, would be more likely to see justice done. All right, I didn't know uh, he was able to do that. The seven of the king's guard shall stand for me. I will fight personally. Mm, I am a pretty good fighter. But I'm not an idiot, right? Though I am brave. Okay. It's probably not smart to do this myself, right? No, okay. Let's let's just have the King's Guard face him. King's Guard is pretty good. 
try of the seven men. This, this is an interesting episode. Let's see what happens. Glendon is now of legal age. Welcome, Glendon. Here he is. Flanker, inspiring leader, leads from the rear. This is my uh, my ward. Can we marry him off to uh, ask Glendon to be a champion? Is he gr a good fighter? Not really. Why are you so terrible? Teenager. We can make him our, uh, our commander at least. Or Paramount Theon, sorry, we're going to replace you <laughs> with uh, Glendon. The champions have assembled in the Red Keep, ready for the Trial of Seven. Lord Paramount Giles Risley and his champions also arrive shortly after. And the two sides now arrayed against each other, ready to fight before the gods. All right. Lord Commander Alice is one of your champions, Sir Leo Florent. Who, is, who are his champions? Himself. He is in the uh, in, in, in the fight. Lord Royce II, Goldwater. Lyman Tully. Wow. We have two Lord Paramounts fighting our King's Guard. I mean, our King's Guard should be able to handle it. They're, they're some of the best fighters in the land, right? Let the trial begin. Sir Jeffrey of the Crossing confronted and subdued Lord Paramount Red Giles Risley, forcing him to yield and leave the field. Yeah, that makes sense. Sir Jeffrey is uh, probably the best fighter in Westeros. 140 personal combat skill. That is insane. This is the uh, yeah the Frey, uh, the Frey descendant. Yeah, who's going to win? Amongst the Sir Joffrey has slain Lord Gerald Grafton. Sir Joffrey is uh, is doing doing well again. This uh has subdued Lord Ellard Wexley. Good going. Sir Leo Florent has slain uh, Lord Gilwood Sunderland. All right. Here's the okay. Sir Imri Catdolphin. Uh, this guy. Yeah, we appointed him quite recently. I think last episode. Imri Catdolphin. Has so Commander has subdued Lord Paramount Lyman Tully. All right. So he subdued my cousin. Yeah, this guy probably hates us as well because we, yeah, we banished his his father to the Night's Watch. So when we confronted and subdued Lord Royals, Royce Coldwater. All right, so I think we are we are beating him easily. What have to do, Lord Courtney Redford? Yep. Uh, and Sir confronted and subdued Sir Raymond Bartley. Oh, this is Sir Raymond. Yeah, he was burnt in the um, in the Great Wildfire that is raging right now. So he died. So he, he, he wasn't at his best. So I hope he doesn't die. No, he's yielding. Okay. So he's not dying yet. But this guy has been some, one of the best tourney knights ever. He has won two grand tourneys and uh, one regional tourney. Who's going to win? Uh, the King of Stormlands. No, come back. this guy wants to be Lord of the Stormlands. Nope. So Jeffrey of the Crossing Subdued, Lord Courtney Redford. All right. Uh, yeah, my wife, you can have. You could have some new uh, some new clothes, that's fine. Uh, Lord Paramount Giles Risley and his champions have been defeated and so clearly pro proving his guilt before the gods. Now it falls to you to choose the just punishment. Execute him. Let you take the black. Let him run in his cells. Say here is my guest. Uh, we can have him take the black, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna say we're not gonna execute him, I think. We will send him to the Night's Watch, yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> so we have now uh, Lord Paramount Jamar of the Vale, one year old uh, baby boy. And my wife is the heir. I mean, how can I not? How can I not, guys? <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna inherit the Vale, or our, our, our kids are. That's great. <laughs> All right. Lots of, a lot of things happening this episode. King's Guard. Oh, this guy has been burnt as well. Uh, Lord Commander Ellis, my uh, my Lord Commander. He has been... Yeah, his face is burnt. We are already burnt, so I guess we are immune to burning. When is this fire going to stop raging? Twelfth moon. Okay, a couple of months. Huge fire is burning. The subject Bonifer has been burnt. Corona Wild, Spymaster. Uh, investigate rumors. Whatever. Send word that a massive pit of manure has been prepared under the floorboards of an abandoned inn for this one-year-old kid who is, <laughs> is going to visit an inn and there's going to be a manure expl explosion. All right. Oh, and also he will die by, by drinking wine. All right. <laughs> Let's see which one kills him first. Uh, Janae Lannister accepted. Okay, Janae Lannister was defeated. Fine. Good, good, good going. Okay. Uh, nice, uh, Sir Reynold. You... Uh, you uh, you thwart thwarted the Lannisters again. And we like this guy, eh? We uh, he's a family friend. We um, we want him to stay Lord of uh, Lord of Westerlands. 
Lord Gregor, we still want to join him, him to join us actually, but I guess he doesn't want to. If you give him 15 bucks, still doesn't want to. We want him, want, want him to be my steward. But I guess, uh, you know, when uh, Reynald dies, we can still do that. Okay. Uh, my acquaintance Kendall has been caught in the fire. A lot of people are burning in the wildfire. <laughs> I hope I myself don't burn. Yep, he died not knowing the name of his... Okay, the, the wine killed him. And the manure also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this guy... This, this, this one-year-old infant boy... He... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he perished in a manure explosion while drinking wine. <laughs> what a way to go for, a, for this little kid. Okay. <laughs> and my wife is now Lady of the Veil. Vale. Fantastic. Fantastic. Who's now the area? My daughter. That's insane. That's that's fantastic. You are... Uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a non-aggression pack with you. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Okay, so we have... We have a Baratheon on the throne of the Reach. We control the Stormlands personally, which we will give to our heir at some point. Uh, we, Our wife holds the Veil. And then we have uh, the, the Westerlands. Uh, this is... Uh, the, the Iron Islands will be inherited by a Baratheon. Well, they won't be inherited by a Baratheon, but some Baratheon will get a very strong claim on them. Uh, we have in Dorn, uh, Angram... We married, uh, yeah, his, his son Kyle is married to my aunt. So uh, those guys are secure, at least for now. We have the Riverlands. That's the one the one place that's not really secure. I guess we could marry this daughter off to our, uh, our bastard son, Willis. Yeah, let's do that. If that will give me a non-aggression pact with him. And then we have Lord Paramount Winton, whom we married to nobody yet. I know he's, he, he's married to my sister. Yeah, so this is my brother-in-law. Great. So all the great houses are uh, within uh, diplomatically controlled by us. Oh, the um, the King's Guard died. Lord Commander Alice the Munificent. That's sad. He was a good friend of our fathers. He died uh, from a burn wound, and also from his gout, probably, and just his old age. So he 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 he, um, he lived for a long time. He's been the uh, let's see, Lord Commander of the King's Guard for fourteen years. Great, 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 great. Loris was the King's Guard uh, leader for 30 years, huh? Great. All right. Um, so George Flowers. No, no, no. We're going to find somebody. Uh, I have decided to accept your betrothal. Great, great, great. Are you now my... Um, do we now have an aggression pack with you? Yes. Okay. Great. Fantastic. Okay. We will find a new King's Guard member. I will skip it as usual. <laughs> Ah, okay, who will be the new Lord Commander? Yeah, so Lord Raymond. But he's pretty terrible nowadays. In Riquet Dolphin, we have Morton. Jeffrey of the Crossing, of course. I'm certain he will be loyal and true. Alright, oh, we have, uh, we have a son. Robert Baratheon. Should we call him Robert? Robert is fine, I guess. We could call him Renly. We have uh, Renly, Robert, Oris... Oh, Robert is fine, I guess. If that's what the game comes up with, that's fine. We will call the next one uh, Renly or maybe Edric or something. Edric is the Lord Permanent of the Reach, yeah. Okay, Robert. Do you have any good traits? No, you're a, you're a kid without any uh, without any uh, traits yet, but that's fine. Alright, we have uh, Sir Corwin Wainwood who's joining us. Kind gregarious brave man who is well-groomed. Okay, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So our King's Guard is complete again. At last, the wildfire outbreak and the Red Keep has finally subsided. Great. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Then it's time to go back to war, I think. Yeah, it's been a while since the last war. So we're gonna fight for Tyrosh. Free city of Tyrosh. Dragon conquest of Tyrosh. Let's see what he does. It will surely honor their ob obligations. Uh, Master of Laws. Okay, we need a new Master of Laws, this guy. Master of Whisperers, Miles Swigert. I think he's been our Master of Whisperers before. Doesn't really like us, though. Let's give him some money. Keep him on a good side. All right. Uh, I honor my allegiance, honor my allegiance. Okay, everybody everybody's honoring their allegiance. I see not the point in conflict with you and your dragons. Okay, great. He is wise. You are wise, my man. Uh, I can belie I believe that this guy can be discouraged from, vi from, uh, from having a... Uh, oh, he's, he's also the... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we own Marine. 
<laughs> Oké. Okay. Dus um, he is still here. Einhard Targaryen. <laughs> Oké. <Okay. laughs> so this guy just randomly owns Marine as well. I don't know how, how that works. I guess he conquered it or something. Yeah. Oké. Okay. Um, yeah, let's pay him a visit on my dragon. Uh, not only has Lord Paramount Illyrio Ilias uh, chosen to join me, he's pledged eternal loyalty to House Baratheon on behalf of House Ilias. And her as well. Okay, great. My dragon sufficiently count him. All right, so he uh, he promises him promises me my his eternal loyalty. Very nice. This is also Baratheon loyalist, so we have a bunch of loyalists. Okay, so that's that's all done. The great wars are once again over. We will go uh, to Lee's next, I think. Yeah, we will appoint the, the old council. Welcome back, everybody. But I think uh, my vessels are really now starting to come around to me. Yeah, the master of Tywars doesn't like me very much, but that makes sense. We at least count him to uh, not be in a faction, so that that is fine with me. Um, who else doesn't doesn't like me? Oh, oh my lord, Paramount's are at one plus one hundred. Man. <laughs> Leech is brave, Leech is dragon rider. Baratheon loyalist. Okay, that's that will take another couple of months. Okay, great. I think we will just immediately continue with Lee's, right? Yeah. Lee's. Dragon conquest of Lee's. No surely on with our obligations. Yep, everybody is joining. We will appoint uh, this guy again. Uh, I see. I want your allegiance. Okay, this guy, Lord of the Heir to Dorn, not the Prince of Dorn himself, I guess. Oh, I see no po point in your conflict. Okay, great. We are just plowing through all the uh, <laughs> the, uh, the th it's called the three sisters, right? These three, uh, the Tyros, Lys, and Myr, in lore. I, I think so. There's like an area called the Disputed Lands. Oh yeah, here it is. And Lysine Disputed Lands. So this this whole area is disputed between those three cities. Welcome back, my boy. Uh, we will wait for everybody to come down again, and then we will continue on to Myr. We appoint the old council, yep. Uh, your grace, we have received word that the dragon Rhaegal has died in Karth. He suffered a grievous injury. Okay, Rhaegal has died. That's good. That, uh, that improves our position, right? We, uh, there's not that many dragons left in the world. I say that. There's actually quite a few. Show me the dragons. Dragon, owned by Oris Baratheon. Uh, Telexis. Oh, uh, Einar Targaryen owns the dragon. Interesting. I missed that, I think. But I, I guess uh, Einar Targaryen rides a dragon. Interesting. Okay. He's a triarch. Then we have uh, Viserion, who's still wild in Karth. He's probably the second strongest dragon in the world. And we have uh, Orion, yeah. I thought she was, uh, oh, she, uh, she is, but she's, I guess, untamed in the sense that uh, my uh, my kid is still too young. All right, interesting. Dragon X. No, no Dragon X in the world. Okay. All right. Uh, Mur. Hello. I'm going to continue on until someone fights me. Dragon Conquest of Mur. We're back again. It at war. Everybody is joining me again. Very nice. I mean, it is a smart thing to do, right? Because we're going to defeat him anyway. He is wise, great. Great, 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 great. Okay. I think we should leave it at that for now. I think this is a, this is sufficient conquest for now. Look at this, guys. <laughs> we we very easily conquered these three cities. And we gained some land here in Slaver's Bay. Uh, just as a bonus, as an added bonus. Alright, so... I think the three, the, the, these three cities are, are quite a natural addition. To the, uh, to the the Iron Throne. Although all these guys hate me. <laughs> That's probably because uh, yeah, they're not uh, they're not my religion. Need a new master of whispers. Uh, oh my! Uh, That's my uh, my wife. That's fine. She's a pretty good uh, master of whispers. She likes me. Harry Rivers is my master of coin. Yeah, let's replace him with oh Oberyn uh, grew up. Or Angram Prince of Dorne. Angram Prince of Dorne. He's a uh, Lord Paramount, right? We want him on our side. But Oberyn grew up. What uh, what is his fighting skill? Curious to, uh, to to know that. 80 only. Okay. Oberyn, my man. You are unmarried. Uh, should we marry you off? Mm, Robert is my son, right? Simon? He is married. Lady Jane Greyjoy. Right, right, right. Okay. Who uh, do we not have yet have a... 
uh, non-aggression packs with. All of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all five kingdoms. Um, and then we have the Trident, the Veil, uh, the Westerlands, the North, Dorne. Not the Reach, I guess. My man, why are you not? Uh, surely we are at. Uh, surely we have. We have a non-aggression pack with you. I guess it's not shown anywhere. I could marry my niece. <laughs> nah, that's gross. <laughs> I mean, it is George Martin, but uh, we could. Uh, we could, I guess. Um, yeah, he 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 holds Robert's Warhammer, right? Yeah, he does. Okay, great. We could send you on a on a, on a tour, maybe propose for on tour. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get let's send Oberyn on a tour. I think that's a good idea. Can we set up a, a sell sort company? That's also, I think, a a thing. But yeah, let's let's do that. Let's wait until he's 18 and send him on a tour. The one uh, we will follow your career with great interest. He's 18. When when does he become 18? For okay, a couple of months. Fine. All right. Very nice. Oh, Gregor of the Westerlands. Great. That's actually good news. Although, no, okay, let's let's not say that. Because Reynald is a, is, a, is a good friend of our family, right? He's the one who captured the Daenerys Targaryen and ended, ended that war real fast for us. So we're going to miss we're gonna miss Reynald, but he lived to, a, at least for medieval standards, a pretty advanced age. He ruled the Westerlands for a good 25 years before he died. Um, yeah, it's a, yeah, ever since Renly conquered it for him, as one of, I think, the last acts he did. Yeah, so a, that's a year before he died, approximately. He uh, granted the Westerlands to uh, Reynald the Merry. Very nice. Yeah, we, oh yeah, we conquered it from Edric Storm, I remember now. Edric ruled it for 20 years, then he ruled it for another 25 years. And now we have Gregor. Gregor of the Westerlands. He's plus 100 with me. Touched, softened, sent gifts. Yeah, okay, we, we tried to sway him. He lost me. <laughs> so we will replace the Master of coin uh is there anything you can do prince engram no not really right we're gonna have gregor as our master of coin because he is great man he is great should make him our designated regent that was also loris will not be happy but gregor is a much better choice balar targaryen died stillborn all right all right how many targaryens are there two just anar and uh simela targaryen all right all right Diella is a bastard of House Frey. Yeah, that, I, I, I vaguely remember that. Oh, he's married to... Yeah, okay. He's a <laughs> This guy is a Targaryen after all. He married his sister. Okay, I, I think... Uh, the Traveler's Herd is say that uh, dragons live once more. And that Triarch uh, Valerion Daimioris now writes uh, Viserion. But, oh, he's the... The King of Yunkai. Okay. The Triarch of Yunkai. He borders us now. Hmm. Mm, okay. So this is the second strongest dragon rider. Like my dragon is still way more powerful than his, I think. No, not not way more, but a bit more. Very interesting. Okay, we might uh, fight him next episode. I think that's that's a good place to end it on because we have now noticed that one of our rivals has uh, has has gained a dragon, and we also know that uh, Einar Targaryen owns a dragon. So those two together uh, would make them a fairly, fairly formidable foe. And we also know that Kath, the Empire of Kath, was founded by a dragon rider. So there's dragons uh, again in the world. Magic has returned. So it's uh, it's time to uh, to start expanding the Iron Throne and to uh, to defeat the Targaryens once and for all. But we'll leave that to the next episode. Uh, this episode, at least, we conquered the Three Sisters, which is a very nice addition to our empire. Next episode, we will continue our uh, conquering spree here in Essos. We'll hopefully have to fight some wars as well. And we might take the fight uh, to our uh, competing dragon riders. Because I think it's good to fight them now once they're still small. So uh, all that next episode. Thank you guys uh, for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.